uh, I don't know an, another period in American history outside of Jim Crow where there's been a tiered citizenship ranking system so evidently put forth for the people to view. Like if you seri seriously don't come from a very specific economic or ethnocentric background, then you are denied so many rights. And you're, you, you know, you're being denied so many rights, accesses and privileges and, and things that are actually um, prescribed to you as an American citizen. And, you know, the, the, this denying of FEMA funds, this denying of education, of health care for women, um, specifically impacting black and brown women. At this turn, of the, this election, there's so many things on the table that really make your decision pretty easy, you know what I mean, as a voter, because you're really voting to either keep your rights or lose virtually all of them. And, and what's interesting is guess who jumped into the rights frame? Man, th and this is crazy because, like, this was out of all the things that was on my bingo card this year. <laughs> Milan. Man, listen, Melania, I did not have that one. Melania jumping into the fray and having a different opinion of her, uh, you know. And again, I don't know how the right wing reacted to this. I, she said, "She said you gonna go ahead, you gonna go ahead and uh, fuck that pale face bitch. <laughs> mm. I'm gonna do something." I got you, nigga. Yeah, I got you. Remember, it was Donald Trump who took credit for putting on the justices uh, that um, eliminated Roe v. Wade. Yeah. Right. Trump was like, everybody wanted it to the states. Everybody. No, no. And there, again, like just because you say everybody wanted this doesn't mean that's the no. truth. Nobody wanted it. And so now like Roe v. Wade and those protections are on the table. Um, and so here's Melania mm -hmm. Trump with a message about Roe v. Wade and women, women's rights. Did you want to play that clip, sir? Individual freedom is a fundamental principle that I safeguard. Without a doubt, there is no room for compromise when it comes to this essential right that all women possess from birth, individual freedom. What does my body, my choice really mean? What is this? So she's promoting a book and in this book promotion, she's doing all these little videos. You know what she sounds like to me? An immigrant. Uh, again, because she is an immigrant. Wow. wow. You know, I guess it's okay. Immigrants speaking up for, for rights? Well, again. Can't have that in America. White immigrants are different, right? Mm. Elon Musk, Melania, they're white. Mm -hmm. So because they're white immigrants, that's the type of, they have Western civilization values or whatever the bullshit that they spew. Mm. But it is uh, funny because it's like, okay, so you're, you're, you know, here's his wife now coming out and saying, I believe in an individual right. I believe in a woman's rights to choose. And but your husband and we know like JD Vance literally had on his campaign website that he doesn't believe in an abortion under any circumstances. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then the minute he got promoted to vice president, he erased that from his website. Yeah. But obviously, like we can go into archive and see. So clearly this is against what JD Vance believes. This is against what Trump believes. I mean, what do y'all think? I mean, is this what, if, what Melania? If Melania is the Trojan horse? Like, what if she's really here? Like the whole time she was just like a sleeper agent to destabilize the Trump or the or the Republican Party. She's the mm. she's the Putin uh, she, contact. Yeah, yeah, yeah oh, right. She's a KGB. Yeah, yeah. 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 Who would have thought the whole time Putin was playing a long game and put uh, Melania Trump in as a KGB sleeper agent? Again, I mean, it is fascinating. Manchurian candidate shit. It, it's it's fascinating because it's like who did they know this was coming? Yeah, like, like yeah, like how do you respond to it? And again, like I don't know if anybody asked Trump this question, like. You know, and what does he say? Well, that's my wife. She can have her belief she's not running the country. I don't know. That's fascinating, right? Yeah. I mean, that's I got to make for a very awkward Thanksgiving conversation that's about but to I come mean, up. I think that the fact that his alleged mistress is talking about yeah. their engagements on her podcast is probably going to be more of a yeah. distraction to their holiday festivities <laughs> than anything else, number one. Number two, it just it's always strikes me how people find a voice and the ability to speak up once the harm that they have supported comes to impact Ooh, them. Ooh, shit. ooh. Damn. Ooh. It's like, where was this two years ago? Where was this three years ago? Now that you're living with the consequences, now that you're seeing your friends have to literally bleed out on hospital floors, now you're seeing that people are dying because they don't have access to abortions. Now it's like, Oh, this is something that I've always believed in. It's kind of funny because all of these Republicans who have for years talked about banning abortion are now trying to act like they've never ban wanted to ban abortion. Now they mm -hmm. want to act like they're moderate. Now they want to act like, a, oh, this is not a big deal. But now that black women are dying 
Hispanic women are dying. White women are dying. Now you want to care. And you said the you said the uh, the the key word on that last one, white women. Mm. Correct, because our most precious resource in this country. Because black women have died the most. Yeah. Due to Roe v. Wade being overturned. Yes. Having more medical uh, complications mm -hmm. um, and being denied care, black women have also been the most. Black and Hispanic women have been the most uh, prosecuted mm -hmm. uh, for having miscarriages. Um, and medical crises that ended in um, the the termination of their abortions and have been prosecuted. You know, Alabama, uh, Texas. You know, the case over here in Ohio. So again, this idea that now like it's getting pregnant is either like a death sentence right. or an incarceration sentence is something that like we have been organizing around. But it is white women who are now talking about their story right. and their need because I think. People think about Planned Parenthood for abortions, but they forget you can get private abortions. You can go to like medical facilities. Yeah, yeah. And the way Republicans wrote those bills took away these private places yeah. mm -hmm. to have abortions. And so now white women and upper class white women are also impacted. And that's why yeah. you see more people pushing out how they just defund a Planned Parenthood. Nobody like people would have cared, mm -hmm. but nobody would have cared on this scale. Right.